Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is boat show season. It is the kickoff of boat show season. We are at the Canned Yachting Festival. And you know what that means? That means brand new boat tours, first ever walkthroughs. Here's the first one of this season. The, behind me is the Serena 78. I had to get up on top of the Serena 88 here in order to try to get this entire thing in the view because it is so darn big. Massive, massive bow. Uh, all, I'm gonna go through all the little areas here and explain every little piece, but I wanted to get an overshot of this vessel to start this program because man is this a big big boat 78 is the hull model it is an 82 foot loa 21 foot 3 inch beam 5 foot 7 inch draft when she's loaded out with the 2378 gallons of fuel this four stateroom forehead monster will cap out at about 181,000 pounds Lots of different multiple layouts of this vessel that we'll go through, different flybridge configurations, different salon configurations as well. So let's go step aboard and let's get this thing going. This thing is almost too big to get into one camera shot here, but we're gonna walk the hull line to point out a couple things that I think are unique before we even get up onto this vessel. Now they've gone with similar cutout here on the side decks like they did with the 68 which is right in front of us here. There's the 68 that we did the first walkthrough tour of last year. Now to the 78, again, such a big boy. But what I wanna talk about too is aside from, aside from, hello, aside from just the LOA, all, you know, we always talk about, this is a 78 foot boat with a 82 foot LOA. I think the other thing to really focus on, something that not everyone talks about is hull length, okay? So this is a 72 foot five inch hull length. Now that means uh, the LOA takes into account, for example, your bow pulpit or your extended swim platform or anything else that, that sticks out. But L, uh, hull length will go from the hull from here all the way to the stern. Now that is what incorporates a lot more of the actual living space of the boat, right? You can't, you don't, there's no bedrooms on your swim platform or on your bow pulpit. So for someone to have a hull length, you could have a, it can say LOA of a hundred, but if the hull length's only 70 foot, that's not all that great of a, you know, amount of space comparison to other footers that size. So I um, thought I'd mention that because I think that's a unique thing that I want to start talking about a little more because it talks more about interior living space versus just size of or length of hull. So, or length of LOA and uh, instead of just a number what's on the side of the boat, it's more about what's actually within the boat. So here we go, speaking of within the boat, I'm gonna sneak on here. <clears throat> so similar, very large swim platform, thousand plus pound capacity, integrated stairs into the bow, or into the swim platform. Got uh, passerelle here for med type moorings when you're backing in uh, like this. Otherwise, you'll have two stairwells to walk up the vessel and your crew quarters, which we'll get to a little later. Now again, lots of configurations, lots of customizations within this vessel. So obviously we'll start here at the cockpit area. Um, something that Serena does very well is just this huge open cockpit entertaining area. You've got a drop down uh, sunshade that can protect you from, you know, for guests, from wind, from uh, extra sun that you might not want. Uh, a little bit unique design of the stairwell. Again, there's so much to talk about on this boat. Here. Uh, you do have, and I forgot about it last year too, really good use of this space, a wing station. So if you're docking, you come here, you're looking right down the line, looking down the dock end as you're sterning in. I think this is a great use of this space. Um, again, this is with the shaft V-drive engines, this is integrated, um, you know, your use of your forward reverse and then twisting your throttles plus integrating with the bow and stern thrusters. Really good use of that um, space there. Another ice maker. So fridge is on the other side of the stairs, ice maker here. So you've got entertainment uh, galore back here. You've got rope lockers, big, heavy, and all these things are, this door itself is quite significant. Uh, all of your ground tackle is very, very large as well. Another nice feature is everything from here is single floor, one walk through all the way through. So uh, they're just getting the boats cleaned up in the morning here. I got to get here bright and early before the show starts because this boat is going to be packed out when we first got here yesterday. 
there was a line to get on it, so it makes it easier for us to do these tours now versus later. So anyways, let's keep on, uh, keep on moving. We'll walk to the bow because I really like the new design of this bow. So two steps up, very small though, nothing uh, massive, significant from that side. But what you get to this bow, talk about your entertaining space. Large sunbed area here, two separate couches with uh, pop-up lighting here. Uh, you got an area for uh, sunshade that can, uh, posts go on either corner. You've got a sunshade that will integrate with the, the, bow, uh, the, the hard top up there. Got your speakers, you got everything you need up here for just a, a total oasis entertaining space up here. Look at all this space. Plus, this isn't even all the way to all the way forward where then you get your anchor, locker, ground tackle areas up here. Again, nice big space for rope lockers. These dock lines are large and uh, take up quite a bit of space so to have this extra area that's just, that doesn't even eat into your entertaining spaces I think is a great feature there. Look at this thing. So something to talk about now, this flybridge. This is a semi-enclosed flybridge on this vessel. Uh, one of the big features for this new model is the opportunity of choice. Choose your adventure, I believe is what they, uh, they say. And for example, this flybridge can be fully enclosed, glass doors on the back end. It can be partially enclosed like this one is. We're gonna get up there in just a second. Or it can be uh, open, which has no glass doors and makes it a lot more open air feel. So it all depends on the area that you're doing your boating and uh, how you want to plan to travel with your vessel. Now, wow, first look up here and uh, excuse the expressions as I go through because some of this is, uh, this is all my first viewing and man, is this boat cool. Um, massive, look at these big things up here. All your radar arches, your domes, your sat domes and, and whatnot. But um, so you come up here, if this was a enclosed, fully enclosed flybridge, you would have a door that goes this way. Um, this is a nice feature that this is semi-enclosed. So you still get an opening sunroof here, glass sunroof. Both of these side windows fold down, which is excellent uh, for open air feel. Plus, I really, holy cow, this window, beautiful, huge window. I was curious about the visibility from up here as the, as the captain at the helm, because of course that's what, uh, what I'm always looking for is what does it feel like to be underway with this bad boy? Um, quite a good amount of visibility up here. You're at your helm, you've got your throttles, you've got your joystick integration, which integrates your bow and stern thrusters. Of course, this is a, a V-drive shaft, man, V12 engines. We'll get into that when we get downstairs, but um, visibility here, there's a Serena 88. But yeah, you really actually do have quite a bit of visibility here. Now, looking aft, quite a large entertaining areas up here. You've got this really nice couch, and this also, again, when we talk about customization and make it your own, there's a lot of features up here. So your, your flybridge can be customized a bit. I actually really like this feature here. Uh, this is your little bar type area with uh, some optional bar stools. Uh, kind of like on the 68, which this bar type area was, was more aft on the 68. You can kind of see it up there. Up. Um, but I actually like this. It keeps this area open because if the captain's up here driving, you've got some people that might want to stand up here and chit chat with the captain. Plus you're standing underway, you're looking forward uh, visibility is excellent up there too, so I actually really like this uh, this spot. And it doesn't the helm is very substantial, great visibility with your all your screens, large three large data screens, but it also doesn't take up too too much room. It feels like it's your entertaining area if you've got a your own captain and and traveling, and you want to just entertain. You guys do your thing back here while the captain entertains forward. Now uh, separate entrance it, with. And enclosed, whether you, if you have a semi-enclosed like this or a fully enclosed flybridge, you do get uh, an entrance to your flybridge from uh, inside your salon. So that's a feature we will look at uh, up down when we get down uh, down below. But uh, this is a little bit modular. You have options to kind of choose from here. You could do some different couch setups. Uh, but I kind of like this because it's um, again I said modular because you can move this, slide in, sit and have dinner here. You can make different table setups. Um, but really nice. And because this is a uh, enclosed, obviously we're opening it up right now to get some sun in, but because it is a fully in, uh, or semi-enclosed, you do get a lot of uh, options. You can put some nicer woods up here, a little more um, protected, so it's not doesn't have to be just the teak, just the all-weather type gear. Um, this is a little more 
of uh, interior type stuff. Got your bar grill here. Uh, get storage here. Obviously your fridge and freezers and ice makers and stuff are gonna be up by the bar, but uh, nice to be able to uh, use a, as a double, nice double wide grill. Kenyan grills there, it's a double size, which is nice. Uh, you have options out here too for chaise lounges, or actually like this is a nice little uh, couch type setup here, but uh, really nice looking feature. This is probably your ice maker or something. Let's look. Nope, but uh, could be uh, glassware or other stuff there too, so. Really pretty. All right, let's head down. Let's do it from this direction. I like this view. Really nice. You got a lot of areas as you're going down, handholds so it's safe. You're not, uh, I mean, these are actually really nice, big wide steps too, so you're not worrying about uh, kind of going down on too sharp of an angle. Things they did, they did this from last year. They carried it on from the 68. Just the nice teak uh, accents, I think, are really pretty. And this is now a little more molded in, not just squared off. This looks very pretty. Now this, because of the vents, would make me think, there you go, refrigerator here. It's a nice little bar top type area to help with your entertaining here. And now this, as we talk about single level entertaining from your cockpit, you're hanging out, you're walking while the boat's underway to go straight in and flow to go into your salon is really, really nice. Now this area, again, very customizable uh, depending on how you wanna lay it out. Um, all three options are all, multiple options are gonna have more of a midship galley. Um, look at that fridge, goodness, that is, uh, that is a very, very large setup there. Now this is the island setup, so really wide open. This is amazing feel. Um, you've got galley, island cooktops here, your vents and other stuff is uh, integrated into the, the, to the island, uh, your sink and whatnot over here. Um, but then you've got your dining area forward. So when you have an enclosed or some enclosed flybridge up top, you don't have a lower helm set up here, but look at the uh, kind of the, you know, the wraparound window, something Serena does really well is just such beautiful uh, open expanses when you're inside, all your windows all around. So there your stairwell up into your flybridge. Um, but again, all of your window spaces and because they open up this side deck here, again, it feels more, much more airy, much more open. Um, this is beautiful, this really is nice. So interior layout, not layout, interior, Decor, you have three options with Serena. You have three um, kind of decor packages. Um, going from lightest to darkest, you have inspiration, serenity, and elegance. This, I'm going to guess, is the serenity package, which is the mid-range package. Uh, not too dark, not too light. This feels really nice. A little more gray tones. Um, I think this is really pretty, and goodness, this is a a galley that I would like in my future kitchen in my house. This is really, really pretty. Wow. So very nice setup there. Now, if you didn't do this type of setup, you can have more of a uh, uh, kind of squared off U-shaped seating with a table over there. Um, so if you had, for example, an open flybridge, which um, not enclosed flybridge open to the air, uh, kind of like, again, that's around a 68 that's up there, how it's no glass on the either side of this flybridge, it's wide open. If you did that, then you'd have a small helm station over here, which I would think I would kind of prefer. Um, that way you have options, because if you're wide open up there and it's raining or cold, you're gonna come down here and drive from the below state uh, salon uh, helm station. But at that point, you would have different uh, configurations of your galley. You could have a kind of enclosed off, squared off galley, um, like they used to have on the Serena 64, where it would be kind of squared off this way. Um, but this feel is super nice, very clean, very wide open, um, really, really cool. And then of course, as usual, you have options, different designs of couches, uh, coffee tables versus dining tables. Obviously, since you have your dining table up there, this is perfectly uh, useful as just a coffee table there. Now, I like this, and just the designs, the stuff that they're using now, um, nice, you know, kind of steel cables to do your uh, arching walkway up to your flybridge. 
wine cooler here, area for your probably glassware. Your TV will pop up from back here. Large TV to give you your uh, entertaining areas as well for that. Now, this state, like I mentioned, this is a four state room, four head layout. And of course, within there, there's multiple configurations, but we will head downstairs. Um, just noticing this, this is unique. Your stairwell, your kind of your handholds here feel like this is a, a little bit of a, a danger spot for, I'm looking at my little kid trying to run around this thing and maybe make a misstep, but uh, you know, maybe that's part of the reason why you've got a planter here. Anyways, nice rounded stairwell. I like the look of this as always under lighting on the stairs. And now actually this year, they looks like they've even gone a step further. So when you're coming upstairs, you're seeing the light, plus you're seeing this inlay of, of uh, stainless steel. It looks really, really pretty. So master stateroom here. They're doing a lot of uh, nice accent walls, backlighting here. TV is inset so it's not sticking out. It kind of feels all integrated into the, uh, to the room. Oh, this is pretty. So we'll close the door. These are good. This is a 15, 20 pound door alone. It's a big heavy door. Very solid. So they actually kind of make it so once you close your door, give it a little push. Now there's going to be no rattling when you're underway. So really well thought through. Now use of the kind of the angles there. So you've got your big, obviously full king size bed. You've got your wardrobe area over here. And then all the way around, great use of the, of the space. And you have a nice closet here, hanging closet. Safe there, of course. There's a bigger hanging closet. Now, this version, let's look. There's options of a king, uh, his and hers head, which this one does have. So let's look through. So you've got your his and hers heads and large shower, rain shower. Really pretty, nice and clean. Uh, a lot of times they use really mar like nice marbles. This is kind of a cleaner uh, marble countertop still, but uh, the walls are, are a cleaner uh, veneer. Now, what, if you did not do the his and her heads, you can have a large walk-in closet on this side, which if you had that, then it would be a, a kind of a different flow through here, but it would also give you um, more space for here. So you've got your, um, you know, your wardrobe area here for your, um, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, for your makeup and whatnot. Um, but you have this. And you could have then another kind of a chest dresser over here. It would be a different feel, different layout. So if you, uh, again, however you want, if not everyone needs a his and hers head, you have more space to decide how you would lay it out. Very, very nice. All right, on to the next. I like the, the feels now. We got nice leather in the walls with the, the veneers and the nice woodwork here. So a very nice, uh, use of the textures and the tones really well. So walking through, as you got your upstairs this way, walking on forward to your VIP. We'll cut the past and the nice new VIP. Now this is a bow forward VIP, a couple steps with the nice lighting and whatnot. But what gets you is they've kind of angled the bed here. And I, so now you've got bow windows on both sides. It almost feels like a, you know, a full wraparound view. So really nice, get your hanging lockers here. And this kind of does make it feel quite large too. So you've got a very open uh, feel. It's kind of a cool little uh, lounge, but you still do have, of course, cabinets, space up there. Nice use of that wall for the TV. With the angle, actually, those work very well together. Look at how long that window is. Goodness, that's, this is a queen size bed, I'm guessing. Uh, maybe a king, I'm not of the best. Uh, guesser from that, but this is a very large window, which is really cool. And then of course, again, you still have your full ensuite head with nice accent lighting. It's a nice clean looking uh, 
well-designed toilet set up here. You got your toiletries and then your shower with I like the LED lights. They didn't have that in the master one, so I think this is a, a win for the VIP there, but uh, nicely done. On to the next staterooms. Okay, so here you've got two twins, typically, or sometimes they can slide together. Uh, you could fit these to be, of course, either a, more of a full-size bed and then more space on that side, so they'd be together here. Uh, however you would like to design that ensuite which becomes the day head here so you've got entrance from the hallway for the day head with separate shower still um, where's the, oops, no rain shower on this one but that's okay you got your uh, little wand and whatnot there so or you close it off and then becomes your private entrance from your vi from your uh, one of your twin staterooms hanging locker quite large nice large tv and then to port the other stateroom. So if you didn't need, again, you could make one of these two staterooms with twins. You can make one of them into a, you know, a queen or a twin bed, something a little larger uh, to each their own, of course. Another ensuite, nice bench in there. The wand shower setup. I think this looks nice. This is kind of laid in here so it's inset, feels clean. Okay, let's walk upstairs again. I really look at these uh, stairs as we go up. This fridge, got to look at this again here. How much? This thing. Wow, very nice melee. Fridge, freezer set up, tons of space. You've got, okay. So that's access to uh, ACs, was uh, what happens when I don't pre walk a boat, just guessing. Cabinet space there. Very nice. And a little sitting area over there is a cute little spot. You can sit in the morning and uh, do some laptop work or something like that. So very, very nice. Let's walk down into the crew quarters. So same kind of candelier door here that uh, is typical to the Serena yachts. I'm gonna walk into the crew quarters. Got immediate access to, if I don't trip down the stairs, got access to some electrical. Um, this is customizable too. This space down here uh, has, this is you know two beds, kind of bunk bed style up here. Uh, still with some good amount of cabinet space for, for the crew. There's even a cabinet here behind the door. Um, and then a large or er, uh, single uh, berth on this side with hanging closet and whatnot. Forward into your crew head. And this is nice because again, if you're outside swimming on the deck, big, you know, you lower your swim platform, you're swimming out there in the med, wherever you might be, and you walk in here, um, a little easier to access ahead without getting water throughout the entire boat. So I like that. Oh, into this massive engine area. So Man V12 V drive engines on this, you've got options for the Man V12 1400, 1550s, or 1800s. Between, so between the three options that you've got of the Man V12 engines, you've got uh, the, again, 1400, 1500, or 1850, uh, 1400, 1500, or 1800s, the Man engines. Each one gets you only one or two knot difference between the top to the bottom. So really depends on, on what you're looking to do. But um, so Serena Yachts, as we talk about, are semi-displacement hulls. So at slow displacement, semi-displacement speeds at nine knots, this vessel is gonna have like a 1500 mile nautical range, 1500 nautical mile range. You've got, again, the 222, 2300 
gallon fuel tanks. So you're getting a ton of space to travel uh, with that amount of fuel. At about 16 knots is your cruising speed. And with that you're doing, so at nine knots, you're getting about 13 gallons per hour on this vessel. Very fuel efficient uh, hulls here actually. And then when you get to cruising speed of about 16 knots, you're at about 60 gallon per hour. And then top end, again, is about 23 knots with a 1400, the lowest, smallest engine package, up to 25 knots at your highest engine package, the 1800 man V12. So you do have options, um, but again, between 23 knots top end versus 25 knots top end, uh, I'm imagining the price significant difference between the 1400s and the 1800 engines teach their own. So that's just something to think about there. But again, this engine room, very, very pretty, very nicely laid out. Serena always does a great job with uh, access to uh, shutoffs, access to your fuel filters, Raycor filters, oil checks, all of this. And everything below these decks, you can pop them up. It's upside down right now, but you can see bilge pump there, seawater inlets, uh, engine water inlets. So all your stuff is easily accessed and you do have access from a hatch here too. Um, but I think this is really well designed. Um, can easily access electrical panels. Um, you can see the shaft here, or your V drive with the transmissions. So um, really well put together. This engine room is quite nice. Obviously a much larger boat uh, than the 68. I think this engine room is a, is a win versus the 68. Two generators because you need for the big sea keeper options that you have on here, stabilization, whatnot. Uh, and there's a lot of systems on board. So two generators is a plus and you've got plenty of room for them. So really, whew, it's warm in there. I haven't even been out and running. They've been taking this boat out for sea trials in the evenings, but uh, I don't think yet today. Anyways, finally got a chance to walk and look through the Serena 78. Again, uh, as, as you may or may not already know, Serena, for me is one of my favorite brands, just the way that they do their things, the kind of the timeless classic feel of their yachts, uh, build quality, everything around. For me, Serena is a win. This boat, also another win. We should be taking it out, doing sea trials later today uh, or tomorrow uh, during the festival. Very excited to, uh, to see this thing and uh, really happy with the way that they did it. Welcome to Cannes, France, everybody, to the Yachting Festival. This is a beautiful place to be if you can ever make it here. I highly recommend it. Thank you for sticking around. Again, plenty of yacht tours to come as boat show season is just starting. Uh, we're in September here in France. Uh, we got obviously Fort Lauderdale boat show coming in October, Miami boat show, all of there's a bunch of new boats coming. Stick to, stay tuned for more sea trials, more, sir, uh, more yacht walkthroughs, the whole thing. I appreciate you sticking around. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, pass it on to a friend, shoot some comments if you had questions, or uh, tell me what you think about this vessel. It's a big boy for the Great Lakes, but uh, again, you can, uh, with a boat like this, 1,500 nautical mile range, 2,300 gallons, the world's your oyster. You can travel as far as you'd like. So um, start at the Great Lakes and uh, hit the Bahamas and carry on from there. Cheers. Thank you for sticking around. See you soon.